All right, hello there and welcome at my newest puzzle box video. And today I'm going to show you a really special box because this puzzle box is made with an Arduino, which means it needs a power source and I'm going to plug it in. And you will see there's a small light here which will go on. In fact, there are a few more lights and these four are indicators because you have to complete four steps to open this box and with each step there will a light go on so this one will go on when you finish step one this one when you finish step two this one when you finish step three and this one will never go on actually uh, but these two will go on when you finish step uh, four and they both will stay on um, then there are four little switches here um, this switch will reset the box so it doesn't matter where you are if you use this switch you will start over so you never have to use this one um, this one will make uh, the entire box vibrate uh, you probably can't see it on the video but you will be able to hear it and then you have these two switches those won't do anything until you um, are co have completed the four steps then these two uh, will do something then there are four little holes here and two big ones here and a small one here uh, I know I haven't drilled those really nice but I think it doesn't really matter anyway let's start um, for the first step uh, you have to just uh, plug in the power source um, you have to use these two sensors um, uh, those sensors measure uh, distance you have to put something in front of those two sensors uh, with distance of about one meter and then those two lights will start blinking and if you do this for about three seconds then uh, step one will be completed so I'm gonna do that I'm not sure which height it is exactly from here I'm almost there I think ah. and I have to keep it at this height and then you finish step one okay now uh, there will be a small laser turned on and you will be able to see it and you will have to use a mirror to reflect this laser beam onto this sensor but you can also cheat and just use a flashlight and if you just keep going closer until the lights will start blinking uh, like that that will work too and it's way easier but i thought the idea with a laser was cool so i just used it oh it didn't work wait all right level two completed and the laser will switch off for level three you will have to cover those two sensors with your fingers so there won't be any light at it and level four will go on and the last one is uh, a sound sensor so you have to make a specific sound at a specific tone to open this uh, level so you have to uh, whistle at a specific tone ah. and then You've completed the four steps and those two lights will stay on and these three and now you have to push this little button once and there will be a small motor which will make sure that you can open the box it's this specific motor and with these two buttons you can open and close the box you can let it turn backwards and clockwise and you will be able to see the entire inside of the box there is an Arduino hidden here and um, there are a lot of uh, wires and sensors and buttons here and well I think it looks really cool because it looks way more complex than it actually is but it still was a lot of work and um, I'm not really good at Arduino so I think I did nice and I'd like to thank Hugo, uh, who made sure I could film this video normally instead of using one hand for the camera and the other one to open the box. So, thank you very much.
you want to close the box, you just make sure this one isn't there. And then you have to do that. And now it's closed. And you can just reset the box and no one will be able to open it. 